Assalamu alaikum dear students, hope you are hell and hearty. Welcome to NIEVS Homeschool. This is Fatima Sabrin Shikha, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School Morning Ship. Today I am going to take agriculture class for the students of class 8 on the topic chapter 1, lesson 3 and 4. I am repeating. Today our topic is chapter 1, lesson 3 and 4 and it will be reading them today and our lecture number is 3 while our homework number is also 3. So students, please take your textbook. I'm going to read for you. So let's start. As I said, uh, to the topic is chapter 1, lesson 3 and 4. I'll start from lesson 3. So for that, you have to open your book, page number 6. Lesson 3, the title is Advancement of Agriculture in Different Countries in the World. Nowadays, the countries of the world are classified into developed and developing countries. There are two types of countries and they are developed and developing countries. And students, do you know what type of country is ours one? Our country is a developing country. These countries are also classified as industrialized and agro-based countries. Industrialized countries are also advanced in agriculture. These countries developing their agriculture turn into industry. On the other hand, the government and the farmers of agriculture dependent country cannot avail of their use agricultural technology because of the poor economy. In fact, nowadays developing countries are underdeveloped and developed countries are developed in agriculture. So you can understand the difference between uh, agricultural country or industrialized country or perhaps you can say developed countries or developing countries. Advancement of agriculture in independent Bangladesh. So our first one is independent country. Bangladesh is an independent country and we are an agricultural country also and we are developing in our agricultural sector. Here we will learn about that. In the beginning of independence, there was an agricultural university, an agricultural institute, a veterinary training institute, and several agricultural extension training institutes. Due to the far-sighted vision of Bangladesh Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman for agriculture, in order to improve the agricultural production in independent Bangladesh in 1972, Bangladesh Institute of Nuclear Agriculture, in short, we say BINA, in 1973, Bangladesh Agricultural Research Council, in short, we say BARC, 1976, formally established East Pakistan Agricultural Development Corporation was turned into Bangladesh Agricultural Development Corporation BADC in 1973 Bangladesh Rice Research Institute BV in 1974 Bangladesh Jute Research Institute BJRI 1972 Cotton Development Board CDB 1974 Sugar Research Institute SRI 1973 Fisheries Development Corporation FTC were established along with many other agricultural organizations so students you can understand which organizations are related to our agricultural sector besides in 1976 it means after our independence bangladesh agricultural research institute bari in 1985 agricultural information service ais in 1986 certification agency is CA in 1996 National Agricultural Research System NARS and in 2007 Krishna Gavishana Foundation were established. Of the various programs on agricultural management and research integrated pest management IPM National Agricultural Technology Program NATP are remarkable. Moreover, along with combined pest management for making agriculture more environment friendly various programs are under are underway to inspire the farmers and develop their skills for better agricultural activities due to development of varieties of rice by bangladesh rice research institute and development of many agricultural technologies by bangladesh institute and 
above all at present. Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has emphasis on agriculture now at the age of 15th year of Bangladesh. Students, you know, we are celebrating the 15 years of our independence and it is her Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina who is emphasizing on our agriculture. We have succeeded to produce surplus food for a double population today in comparison to the pre-independence period. At present, there are five agricultural universities and one veterinary and animal science university in Bangladesh. In addition, most of the science and technology universities possess the Faculty of Agriculture and Animal Husbandry. Now, there are specialized laboratories for all agricultural crops. Every year, agriculture fairs are organized in both rural and urban areas. To minimize the use of chemical fertilizers by preparing grain manures and compost, applying in the field and vermicomposting related technologies are being transferred to farmers. Hills process has been made in production and processing of powder poultry and fish first to meet the food st stories of cattle, poultry and fish. So there are a lot of uh, shortages of cattle, poultry and feed, uh, food shortages of these types. Poultry industry is now a notable agricultural industry in Bangladesh and a large portion of fishes in the market come from cultured fishes. Every year, government is encouraging tree plantation program, which makes the farmers interested towards agroforestry, so social forestry. In agricultural universities, masters and PhD level education are being extended. Veterinary and animal science is worth mention here. More meritorious students are getting interested in the study seven agriculture study two. It will be two agriculture for education of the status of the agricultural grades of first class of the coding of the genetic map of shoot by the group of scientists under the leadership of the renowned scientist of Bangladesh. Jute Research Institute, Dr. Maksudul Alam is a remarkable invention of Bangladeshi agriculture. So students, you can see this is the picture of uh, Dr. Maksudul Alam and he is the inventor of genome of jute. And it is a remark for Bangladeshis that we can invent something new, we can add something new in research sector. Agriculture in India. India is a big country having a diversified geography. Expect Except for some desert areas, most of the hilly areas and plain lands are agriculture based. The agroecology of this country is also diversified. We know about India is a huge uh, country with a lot of lands and there are some lands of desert uh, as a result fields, crops, flowers, fruits, vegetables, meat, milk, egg and many more are produced in India and are available in the markets. The agricultural science and technologies in India are not only useful for India but also for the rest of the world. Bangladesh is one of the remarkable importers of Indian agricultural products. So as India is a huge country, uh, they uh, produce a lot of agricultural products and Bangladesh is one of them who used to import from India. Agriculture in China. Here we will learn about the agriculture system of China, the advantages of socialistic plant production all and distribution are playing a supporting role in the development of the agricultural system in China. Although it is a country having the largest population in the world, there is no significant food crisis in China. Students, do you know China is the uh, a country which has the largest population of the world? Though it has a huge population, a number of population, but there is no uh, insufficiency of food crisis. Chinese scientists have already built the capacity to produce the highest per hectare yield of rice. Wheat and maize. China is the leading supplier of newly adopted hybrid rice in our country. So it is essential to learn Chinese technologies and applying them at the field level. So if we can adopt the technologies that is used by China, 
uh, we can develop in our agriculture sector also agriculture in Vietnam. The farmer communities and agriculture have a great role in the development of Vietnam. Vietnam is the largest rice exporting country in the world. This is one of the most important information that means uh, among the all countries of the world, Vietnam is the largest rice exporting country. The Vietnam's success in the development of agricultural technologies for the last few years is a matter of wonder. We have many things to learn from them. The facts of agricultural development of Vietnam are not only confined to the country but also dismantled throughout the world. The component organization of the United Nations who works in this perspective throughout the world is Food and Agricultural Organization. In short, file, there are also some specialized crop research institutes, institutions like International Rice Research Institute, IRI, and the capital of it is in Philippines. They are playing important roles in the development of our agriculture. Now we will learn about lesson 4, comparison of Bangladesh agriculture in the perspective of Asia and the world. Bangladesh, India, China and Vietnam are situated in Asia. So these countries are situated in Asia. Due to geographical reasons, there are some similarities as well as dissimilarities among these countries. Rice is the main agricultural product in these four countries. So basically Bangladesh, India, China and Vietnam, uh, they have their staple food and the main um, agricultural food is rice. People of these four countries are habituated to consume rice as a staple food. Among these, China, India and Bangladesh are highly populated countries. The situation of Vietnam is not so extreme. So the people of Vietnam is less than China, India and Bangladesh. Bangladesh versus China. China is more development, developed in agriculture than Bangladesh. In many sectors, China is more advanced than Bangladesh, especially in agro-based products. China has been able to change genetic characteristics of rice to such an extent that most of the species of their rice are no more dependent on seasons. These varieties are producing sevenfold more yield than previously cultivated conventional varieties. They are also claiming that their future generation rice will yield double than the existing varieties. However, there is a big limitation of this super hybrid rice variety that is can't be stored for future reproduction. Their genetic potential finished in a single generation. For Chinese socio-economic and agricultural condition, these crops may be suitable or risk-less. But in Bangladesh, there are some problems. By hard days, farmers in Bangladesh are not dependent on seed traders for rice seeds because about 85% of the rice seeds are stored and used by the farmers themselves. The seeds of high yielding rice varieties which were developed by Bangladesh Rice Research Institute Bure can be grown by the farmers themselves in their land by proper seed production, field management and can be stored for the next season. So there is one kind of freedom of rice farmers about rice seeds. However, Bangladesh Agricultural University and Bangladesh Rice Research Institute are trying to develop some varieties of super hybrid rice. It is desired that farmers in Bangladesh will soon get seeds of these those varieties. By this time, farmers of Bangladesh have experienced cultivating these types of variety because some seed companies were interested to introduce these seeds in Bangladesh and the government approved their activities with a condition that they will produce the seed in this country. Students, that's for lesson 3 and 4 and in next class we will read lesson 5 and 6. Now it's time to provide your homework. Your homework will be 5 one word answer. I'm repeating, your homework will be 5 one word answer from chapter 1, lesson 3 and 4. Students, that's all for today. Hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practicing at home and abide by your parents. See you in our next class, inshallah. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.